What's good? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to EQ an 808 in GarageBand. So here's how I do it. I'm going to show you my EQ setting for the 808 right now. So you can see what I did here. Essentially, what I do is I set up a low pass filter so all the low frequencies can pass through and then all the high frequencies have been cut out. And then I boost this range a little bit around 260 hertz by just, you know, one and a half dB. And then I carve out room for the kick around 72 hertz. Studio is running in 72 hertz is 70 hertz around that range. That's usually where the kick hits. So what I do is I carve that out a tiny bit. I attenuate it or decrease it a little bit. And then on the kick, I actually boost it just a little bit around the same range of 72 hertz. So the end result of that is this. So I'm going to show you what this sounds like right now. So that's what I do. That's what I do for the kick in the in the boutique 808. Um, additionally, I'm using the Initial 8 808 plugin from Initial 808 Studio or Initial Audio, I think they're called. This is an awesome plugin. It also gives you the ability to glide, which you do through the portamento timing, and you can adjust the envelope as well. You can actually hear the demo thing saying right now. It's saying 808 in demo mode. So that's what that noise is. But uh, additionally, like this EQ that I just showed you, you can really do the same thing for a deep sub bass as well. So for instance, you go down into your synth, bass, deep sub bass, you go like that, you go like this. So now it's, we got a new one right there. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how it sounds before and after. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the volume down. And essentially, that's how I do it. Um, you don't really need to be too hardcore with this, with the EQ. Um, ad admittedly, I'm not the best 808 maker, so I, I know there's probably a lot of other guys that will tell you that you need to do all this stuff. And maybe they're right. Maybe you do need to do a lot of stuff. However, I find that this works just fine. You just keep your boosts and your cuts uh, very minimal, and you just set up like a low-pass filter on it, and that's kind of enough to get it to sound good. You know, carve out space for, for the kick right here. At 72 hertz just drop it down by a tiny bit as you can see and then do the same thing with the kick except increase that range a little bit that way there's room for them to to be mixed together and i find that's it um and as i said before like i'm using this uh initial audio plugin from B boutique or excuse me from initial audio um it's called the 808 studio 2. i'm definitely going to be getting it in the future just because of what everything that I can do and i'll show you what it sounds like like it's definitely the best 808 i've heard um, Eight oh eight studio is running in demo mode. So, yeah, I love the way this eight oh eight sounds. I think it sounds fantastic. Um, but other than that, that's about pretty much all I have to say about 
EQing your 808s. You know, just keep it simple, and it, it should sound good. Make sure you use a good 808 plug-in, and it doesn't really need to be go much further than that. But anyway, um, as usual, make sure you like and subscribe to, to the video. Or uh, I'm not making sense today at all. Make sure you like the video and then subscribe, and then I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.